to create a shortcut program. If I want to go into scanning, I'm going to hit reset. Let's say they do a lot of mixed sizes. Mixed sizes would be where you're putting 12 by 18 and 8.5 by 11 both in the dock feeder at the same time. But when I scan it or copy it, I want it to pull on the correct piece of paper. So I'm going to go to application. I know the machine well, so I know I go to originals. I hit different width. I click OK. I hit close. So I have it set up for mixed sizes. Now I'm going to go to program, not registered new. I'm going to name that mix sizes. Oops. So now I have that all set up. So now if I have a sheet like this and I have an eight and a half or 11 by 17, I can put them all in the dock feeder, but that has staples on it. So let's not send that over. Okay. Sorry about that. 11 by 17 and 8.5 by 11. I'm going to hit my name. I'm going to hit program. Mix sizes recall. And I'm going to hit preview because I want to see what it's going to look like on the screen. It's also very good to use preview when you're with a customer because you don't have to walk back to the computer to see it. All right. So there we go. We have 11 by 17 and eight and a half by 11 in the same document. At this point, I can use a widget and I can rotate things if things are rotated the wrong direction. Another thing I can do is I can delete pages. If I don't want one of these pages, I can delete on the fly. When you're in preview mode, the last thing you can do is you can actually go to the glass and maybe you need to add a receipt or something that can't go through the dock feeder I can go ahead and put something on the glass. I can click start scan. And that's actually going to add a third page to my document. So now I have page one, two, and three. Once my document is complete, I can click send now or start. Either option will send the scan. During your training, you might get something with scanning saying failed to complete the job. Sometimes when scanning to email or scanning to folder, the IT did not set up something properly. This is not a big deal. You can just click job history. You can find that scan and click details. And this will tell you why. Connection timeout. It may say login error, which means there's a password that's not correct. It might say cannot um, locate the folder, no specified folder. Connection timeout would mean my email address is probably incorrect. So what I would do at that point is I would go back into scan. I would click on that name and again, it was wrong. So that's why it did not go to the location. So I would need to go in and change that. To change an email, I need to go to utility, user setting, I'm sorry, one touch, create one touch destination, address book, email, there I am. Oh, uh, it doesn't let me, does it? There's no edit button. So that means in order to edit and delete, you can either go online via the IP address or you can go into administrator mode. And same thing, one touch, create one touch, address book, email, Christy. Now I have it where I can edit and I can come in here and I can create the correct address. Okay?